Hi everybody, my name is Franco Carlesimo and I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that I use in my daily workflow. I hope you enjoy and you learn something. So here is a character that I've been working on. It's a fan art. It's based on Ariel Olivetti's awesome artwork. And it's a superhero style character. It's basically, well, he's a villain, but I've been doing a lot of like you can say steampunk style clothing and these guys usually have a lot of you know a lot of straps and stuff like that so i'm going to show you easy ways that i do that the most basic way that i usually do is by i am insulating the character we pressing solo i have that set up to a shortcut as a and just holding control that gives me the usual no masking. What I want to use now is the lasso masking. So what I do, just max this part, go all around. Then I can go and get the extract button. That's going to give me a new geometry. Now, if you drag, and you're going to lose that. This is just a previsualization. You need to drag, uh, press on the extract, then accept it. Now, we have, once we have this, you can see here that I have something extra I didn't want. I'm just going to drag outside. Just going to select my last tool, just holding Control and Shift to isolate this part. I can press now Alt, it's going to turn red and that is going to disappear. It's still going to be there, but we can get rid of that Geometry, modify topology, tell it hiding. There we go. Sorry about that. Now I got this. I'm going to use as a strap or as a band. I don't know how to call it, but you, you can you can tell what I'm talking about, I guess. So now the thing is that it's it's too thin for me. That's why just because I didn't set up the extra thickness correctly from the get-go. So what I can do is just with the move tool active, if you hold control and drag on the yellow icon, the center is going to make it thicker. So it's basically an inflate. Once I do this, you can see I have much thicker topology, but it's all, you can say, messed up. Now, since I extract, this usually comes with already a crease. So what I can do is go to my deformations, Polish by features, and that is going to get rid of that problem. It's going to look much better, but we want better geometry here. So I'm going to go to the zero measure, keep groups. That is very important. Keep groups and also get the smooth groups to zero. Because let me show you if we do this, like how it is right now, zero measure, we're going to lose some of the form. In this case, we don't lose that much because there are big forms, but trust me, it's better if you have it at zero, zero measured, and it's going to work perfectly. This is a feature that I love from ZBrush. It's just amazing. Now, let me show you one more thing. Since See that here we have this, it's kind of bulging out. So what we can do is if we just control and shift and select, that polygroup, since we have polygroups, they are easy to select. If you have them selected, you can just smooth it out. And since by default, it's not letting uh, two points that are not connected uh, smooth out, it's just going to smooth the center parts. So I can smooth that out. And it's, you can see now that it's not bulging out that much. There is one way, oh, sorry. There is one way we can do this. Then there is another way, for example, let me just get rid of that. We can do like smaller ones, usually using the curve strap snap brush. You can go and since this guy that I'm using here doesn't have any subdivisions because I delete them. You can go and drag this and it's going to create 
a strap. Now, what I want this is to go all around the arm, right? So if you just drag a little and you hold shift, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to go all around. But as you see, it's just following the normal, it's not following the normals of the body. So we just press on the, on the curve and it's going to snap to the surface. Now oh, that's nice, right? Perfect. I got this now. Now let me show you the polygons, Shift F to show you that. You can see that we have all the same polygroups. So let's just split that into a separate polygroup uh, subtool. Split mask points. Now we have this. Now if I want to subdivide this, just pressing Ctrl D, it's going to do that because we don't have hard edges like the way polygon works this is going to be the result it's going to soften everything so what we can do now is something that i use quite a bit that is called group by normals okay you can find it on the polygroup tab group by normals and you can see here it's at 45 so everything that is bent you can say 45 degrees is going to change the polygroup so there we go and now we have everything separated in polygroups. That is quite good. Now, if I press Ctrl D, you still see that it's going to do this because we don't have enough, enough polygroups. There are many ways you can fix that. Let me show you just a few. You can go to crease, crease by polygroups, and it's going to select and do a crease on each vertex, each, each polygroup. Now Ctrl D, and it's going to smooth everything and it's going to keep that nice clean geometry that we have already now let's say i'm going to take this away a little bit and now i i want this to show you you know a little bit about the the, the surface that is down there so the brush that i use a lot i like is c project you can get this brush and just press it a little bit and it's going to conform to the surface that we have maybe we need let's do a zero mesh zero mesh keep groups okay now we have a lot more polygons let's see yeah there we go always happens see now it's really acquiring the shape below and yeah we can smooth that out a little bit this might not be the perfect use of this but you get what it's for i hope okay so that's one one other thing if you can see here my brush is in dynamic mode, that's what I like to work on, and it's reaching an end at the draw size of 1000, and it's just not big enough for what I need. So you can go to preference, draw, and here you have the max size of the brush. So you can get that bigger. See, now it's much bigger, and you can do the same thing the other way around. You can go really small, And you can work on stuff in a micro level, you can say. Super useful. Well, that's it for this time. Hope you like it and happy seabrushing. brushing.